See the boy resting good. He doesn't get up for anything these days. Oh yeah. Good morning everybody. Wednesday morning. Getting ready to hit it. A nice long day out here. Uh, Shine Shack renovations continues. Long night last night. I hope you enjoy the uh, final shower uh, install. Did and also some blocking for uh, ADA uh, accessibility. Americans with Disability Act. So we're back in today and uh, it's, it's really great to have that put in. Doesn't that look awesome? That shower, yeah, I love that. So you'll see I brought this out today. This is the, uh, this is the casing, the housing for the uh, heater unit that I wanna slide in here. Let me put a little light on here. And you can see that's gonna go right down, right down in this area right here and you can see how nice that's uh, already uh, set that stud on there which is perfect so I want to pull that up to uh, about right here uh, you can't have it any more than six inches to the ground the blower the hot air comes out the bottom there so we want to set that right and then uh, measure uh, you know I'm going to put the sheetrock right over top of that I'm going to have that all installed and ready to go I want the sheetrock right over top of it then Going forward, when all the inspections are done, I'll mark very carefully from the uh, floor and from the uh, sides where the uh, where the cutout is, taking into account any floor height that I have, and that'll expose that uh, casing. And then it's just a simple matter of uh, the wiring will be already inside, and then it's just a simple matter of uh, hooking the unit inside of the housing there and it's good to go it'll be a good finished unit that goes back on there and if somebody's taking a shower or using the toilet or something or they can pop that on I'm going to uh, see I add a lot of blocking here I'm ready to put this uh, this on I moved the uh, light to that side to give room for a mirror over top of the sink it was really bothering me how constrained. So I really need to make extra uh, extra good measurements here. I want my finished edge to be on that and I really need uh, need good measurements. You can see I put the extra blocking in all along so I get a good tight uh, good tight corner there. And that's exactly what I want. Over here I've got to think about uh, getting out of the uh, shower since I've now lost about another inch and a half with this 2x4 coming out this way towards me, I don't want to keep closing up the gap of wheelchair accessibility here. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, if Jen is using this bathroom, she's still going to be able to maneuver. So I don't think I'm going to put a grab bar here. I'm too worried about people hitting into that all the time, a vertical grab bar. So I think I'm going to put some blocking over here and then put a uh, vertical uh, grab bar here and uh, don't know what I'll probably uh, have have that at a fairly uh, fairly high level and then have the uh, towel rack down here so I'm going to add some add some blocking in here to accomplish that and uh, I think that will be good and then we're going to go ahead and cut the uh, rest of the uh, drywall and install it here and then uh, hopefully do the uh, taping and uh, mudding today and uh, be able to uh, skim coat that on the weekend and then on the whim weekend I want to take all this down do a final sanding over here and then we will be ready to talk about uh, flooring in here now things have gone on a uh, things have gone on a good pace it was only the uh, 8th of January. It's not even been one month we've been in here. The uh, inspector Dick came on the 8th of uh, January and inspected all of the uh, rough in electrical, all the rough in framing, and the rough in pl plumbing and gave the friggin' go ahead on that. So we're only coming up on one month of do it, having accomplished all this working basically uh, part time. So we got a big day today, so let's get to it. Cutting some blocking, guys. Make sure to uh, make sure to wear your safety glasses. No bullshit. Safety first. You never know when something might be in that wood kick out. Right? There's the uh, supervisor. What are you doing on the job out here? 
gets all that white stuff all over his paws. Uh, finish the blocking for the uh, for the uh, shower grab bar. Can put it anywhere on this surface out here. This is spaced two feet apart here, so it'd be easy. There's a lot of meat to uh, get a bar down on. It'll be really stable, and then we have room for a uh, towel rack or something like that down there. And you can see I've put the uh, measuring stick, the uh, folding rule next to that, up to 72 inches. And uh, once again, I've taken pictures of that, so that gives me really good references of the uh, heights of the uh, of the blocking, so I don't have to uh, hunt. You know, I can do stuff so rapidly when it's time to install the uh, finished trim and stuff. So yeah, it's time to uh, time to get the uh, heater box placed over here, and then we'll be able to uh, start cutting some uh, sheetrock today and uh, get the uh, rough in rock done. Okay, I have taken pictures of the height that uh, box is uh, one foot off the ground there. Can't be any closer than six inches to ground level because the blower's in the bottom. So that'll be a good height because hot air rises. That'll be a, a uh, it'll room to warm the room up in no time at all. I also added some blocking up here for placing a, a hand towel rack next to the uh, sink. So I've done a, a ton of blocking in the bathroom now. Uh, so we're re now ready to clean up and sweep and start really precisely getting some uh, the uh, rest of the drywall in here and uh, get ready to uh, tape in mud. So uh, we're going to get this. Uh, this wall is going to be a little complicated with the uh, stub outs here for the sink. And uh, <coughs> I got a big ball on the end of that now to sort of block that from <coughs> a leaking. So okay, let's get to it. You know guys, sometimes when you're cutting drywall, it can really be tough to get the measurements correct. So let me tell you what I do to ensure I get some uh, really good fit. Always make sure you, uh, ev always make sure every joint is relieved halfway over the stud there. So you have a lot of meat to uh, tie onto. The uh, other thing to note is you need to use one side for reference and you have to decide uh, if you're going to be cutting. This is less than four feet wide obviously so I'm going to be cutting lengthwise down a sheet of uh, sheetrock. So what I need to do is determine where I want my finished edge and for extra strength I want my finished factory depressed edge, the really uh, nice done edge on this side here. So what I'll do is take all my measurements off of that side. When I go to lay it down on the ground, I'll know that the right side is uh, going in here right up against the wall. And then I'll do my measurements off of that. So I'll very precisely mark the uh, center line first for the heights and then for the uh, lengths over for things like the uh, pipe. And I need to have the uh, cut out for the uh, box to mount the vanity light. So. I'm going to uh, get the uh, get things cleaned up. I'm already I got a sheet laid out there, and I'm going to get to it and uh, lay that out, and I'll show you the uh, marks when I'm done. When I'm laying out drywall, I like to do all of my uh, vertical takeoffs first. That's the distance from the uh, floor here. And I have the uh, bottom uh, drain pipe for the sink. And the next line up, I have the uh, center line heights for the two uh, stub ins for the uh, water lines, the hot and cold. Then I have the electrical box on the side. I have the uh, marks for that, for the uh, vertical uh, up and down positioning. And finally, I have the marks for the uh, junction box here. And it's simply a matter of now going back and taking my measurements off the, uh, off the right side of the uh, room, off this uh, right side of sheetrock, and then uh, transferring them over here one at a time very carefully. And you should have the perfect, perfect fit. We have a uh, two inch drain pipe. I've marked out for the two water pipes and we'll drill them out with a uh, one inch drill bit. I have a two inch radius here, excuse me, a one inch radius. I have a two inch drain pipe here. I set the dividers here a little over an inch. 
and I just uh, pop her on the uh, pop her on the right spot, and then go ahead and uh, outline the circle, and that should be perfect. So I have the uh, outlines now for the uh, hot and cold. I have the outline for the uh, GFI outlet next to the sink, and I have the uh, cut out for the, I have the marked out for the uh, junction box above. So it's just a question of getting these cut out now. I'll do uh, a starter hole here, and then I'll finish it off with the uh, drywall saw, and I'll hit these with a one inch bit. And just like that, we're ready to uh, try and fit her in. Sometimes, despite the uh, best efforts you do to try to measure and everything, you're going to still be a little off. You might have to widen a hole on the spot using a uh, keyhole drywall saw like that. It's no big deal. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go get ready to fit her up. See if you measure properly. Things go in good. I did a couple other things to help myself too. I marked on here where the uh, blocking was so I wouldn't be shooting random holes in here. So all up and down. So that helps me, uh, helps me get a good guide to securing that side. And we're all good to go. I wasn't perfect on this, uh, on this hot water inlet, that, but that's fine. We have a uh, chooch that's going to go on the outside of that. So that'll all be good. Nothing's ever perfect, but we hit that... Uh, we hit that pipe perfect and that's uh, so it's all good to go. We're going to secure this first panel down. And just like that we got that piece up nice and secure. So uh, you know what guys I think we've earned our uh, coffee break this morning. It's about 10:30. Why the hell not? Okay.